and soccer season is here. Martin Iden uh, is with us once again from Crossroads to tell us all about their free soccer clinics. Uh, they have one coming up September 10th, yes. I believe. Yes. We were just talking the, the first was washed out because yeah. of the rain. Yeah, it was uh, unfortunate that the, uh, the rain came the day before yeah. and then... Uh, a big storm happened before it as well, so just the fields weren't capable yeah, of taking yeah. it. And sometimes it can, though. I mean, I know sometimes yeah. often we play in the, in the rain, but yeah. not when with that type of weather. Not the type of weather, and when there's puddles everywhere, it's just we don't want to ruin <laughs> the fields. It's fun to play and, soccer. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is. Outside. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but we're going to reschedule that one. Okay. Um, we're going to make sure that at some point, either in September, maybe October, we're going to make sure that we do get out mm -hmm. to Franco Hunter and provide that opportunity for the kids in that area and anyone else in Alexandria. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've also got one, as you said, coming up on 10th of September um, with um, Optimus Club. They're the people that sponsor that one. Uh -huh. um, and they're, they're going to be there. Uh, and LC are going to be there. Uh, so from 9-11, kids, many kids can come down and we'll provide the opportunity. And these are free? Yeah, free all clinics. free, all free. Good, yeah. Great way Fun. to learn the yeah. game of soccer. Walk us through, I know you said 9 to 11, but walk us through the ages and what the kids will go, um, skill sets that they'll learn. So mainly it was for me, uh, and what we're going to try and get is a lot of the kids just to have a, have a ball, Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're going to get free soccer balls when they turn up. Oh, I thought you like have fun, but you yeah. need a literal ball, a soccer yeah, ball. Yeah, have a soccer ball <laughs> at the feet. To have, you know what I mean? Literally, that's, that's the big thing. Like, especially the younger age groups, they need to have balls at the feet. You know what I mean? They've yeah. got to be able to feel comfortable on it. You know what I mean? There's okay. a lot of things we can do through that. Um, a lot of enjoyment we can get, a lot of fun games we can do through that, mm -hmm. but they're still learning. So that's what mainly the younger age groups will do. Maybe the older age groups, depending on the ability level, we might do a little bit more complicated stuff. But we're just trying to get kids to have, learn a love for the game, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Get an interest in it. And if they haven't tried it before, come down, see if it's something you'd like to do. And there's an opportunity to sign up there as well um, or get put on a waiting list. So, you know what I mean? We want as many people to come down to try, try it or to get ready for the season if they've got a season coming up. Um, but we'll just work on loads of different things, loads and loads of different things. You said something interesting. You want to get kids comfortable with the soccer ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's Getting a big, used to uh, it's, it's, it's. It's a big thing in America where yeah. people kick the ball. And it's like, woo, yeah, you kicked it really far. And it's like, no, we don't and want that. Yeah, you don't need that. We, we want yeah. them to, you know, feel comfortable. We want them to have a ball at the feet. We want them to be able to dribble with mm -hmm. it. We want them to be able to run with it. Um, and. Um, if we can get past that in Alexa Alexandria and in America, then you'll see a vast, um, you know, improvement well, in the soccer. Well, I think it's just because here. maybe we're we're a little behind in 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 soccer. Well, that, that's the thing. It's and a it's, lot. Of it's catching on now. Now it's gotten to be pretty low, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. huge. Yeah, that's that's my big thing. Is I have to find right. coaches for our recreational program or volunteers. It's like I've never played soccer before. I have no idea what's right. going on. Right. Yeah. Um, so it's it's us. It's myself improving the education for the parents, for the peop for the coaches just to say, well, this is how we actually play. This is how we want to play. This is what we do. And we are getting there slowly. We're getting there very, very slowly. Um, but, mm -hmm. you know, we have to keep implementing things, keep changing things, uh, which I feel Crossroads is doing. And more and more, I think it's really improving. Um, over the last two years, I've seen an improvement. Um, and it will slowly, slowly, we can improve it and the club can grow and hopefully we can reach more people in the community and get more people in the community involved. And well, really I think it's really catching on now. Yeah. And in the last few, couple of years especially, yeah. as I can see. You know, yeah, well, we're showing a slow growth. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we want to get back out into Pineville, uh, but that's going to take time as we increase our staff. Right. We need to increase more staff. Okay, the, the next free clinic, September 10th. It's at uh, the Johnny Downs Comp Sportsplex. Yes. It'll begin around 10 o'clock? At 9 to 11. 9, 9 to 11. 11. If you okay, get there a little bit 11. earlier, because then we're giving out free soccer balls, so the earlier you get there, the more chance you are to get a soccer ball. Mm -hmm. um, but 9 to 11. And then you have another one scheduled for the September 25th. That will be in Pineville and yeah. still working out the specifics on that Yeah, still working out the specifics on that one. Um, we used to do a, we used to have our recreational program in Pineville, so we're slowly trying yeah. to branch back get out back there, into Pineville. Trying to get back into Pineville. A lot of Pineville kids play at our program, but we also want to make it easier and more people involved. But that's a slow process, but we'll try and get out there. So we're going to get out there. Hopefully it'll be Ward 9. Uh, but we still got things to figure out, and, and once like you get, you know, once you you catch that soccer field, it's a week. It's around the it's all a, around the year. Yeah. Yes, event. yes. There's events. Yeah, there's uh, outdoor tournaments in the travel tournaments in yeah. the summer. summer. Yeah, outdoor, indoor, summer, <laughs> year, year round, round. Year, year round, year round. Best How way to get be. more information on Crossroads, Martin. Uh, best way, um, our website. Mm -hmm. If you go on senlessoccer.com. Uh, all the information is on there. My contact information is on there as well. So if you ever need anything, just email me at martin at sendlessoccer.com. 
and I'll be free to do ask awesome. any questions. We're so glad you, you joined us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for having me again. Cheers. More to come on our show. Stay with us.